Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so today I am going to show you how to play Time in a Bottle by Jim Croce. This is like the 17th time in my life I have tried to learn the hard version of the song. I'm also going to show you in another video the easy version. That one's easy. This is not too hard. But I really wanted to learn the hard version. It's way above my head. But I need to get this down because I'm having shoulder surgery in two days. And if I don't, it's going to be another two months. And then I'm going to forget it again. So this is more for me than for anybody else. But I'm going to show you how to do it. I would put it on. I'll actually put it on and let you hear the beginning. If you don't know the song, you got to go Google it. It is, um, look it up on YouTube, Time in a Bottle by Jim Croce. C-R-O-C-E. Croce is how you spell that. But anyway, um, famous, famous song, and it's beautiful. But I'm going to show you step by step how to do it, but I just can't play it as fast as they do it. So just listen for just the first little bit. We'll see how pretty it is. so pretty okay so this is what I've got the easy version doesn't sound like this but this is the harder version and it's much prettier okay so we are going to start up on the 10th fret and it says here high D and I've given you as much instructions I can't there's not enough room to put all the pictures so I've, I've kind of described it to you so on the 10th fret first and second string you're gonna go so I went two, one, two, one, two, one. And then I kind of actually, it might be better to start with your tom and your ring finger. Two, one, two, one, two, one. And put your pointer on the first string. Now I'm moving down to the ninth fret, just on the first string. Two, one, two, one, two, one. Then slide again. And at this point, I probably would use my ring. And now I'm going to slide everybody down to the, what is that, seventh and eighth fret. Good. And then I'm going to slide, so I went two, one, two, one, two, one. Then I'm going to slide my first string down to the sixth, two, one. That's all I'm going to get there. And then I'm going to grab with my pointer and my tom end on the fifth and sixth, second string, first string. I'm going to move my pointer up one. And then my probably pinky is going to go up to the eighth fret. And then let go. And then slide back down. So I went. take you that far, okay? Probably. Slide down to 7th and 8th. And then jump. Okay, now I'm going to switch and my pointer is going to go down to 1. My tall man's going to go up to 3 and I'm going to grab 3 and 1. I'm on the 5th fret and 6th fret. And I'm going to slide up to the 7th, and then the 9th, and then the 12th. I'm just kind of actually following, except for this one. That's the 10th, and then back to the 9th. So that is 5 and 6 on 1st string is on the 5th, and 7th, no, 3rd string is on the 6th. So there, there's that. I'm going to pluck those, and I go up to the 7th. I'm, on the, I'm following the dots, and the 9th dot, then the 12th dot, this one doesn't have a dot, but it's the 10th, and then back down to the 9th. So that beginning sounds like this. So I'm going 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, slide down to 7 and 8. So that was 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Is the intro that I'm hearing him do. Now the next part he does up in here somewhere with and I can't he kind of does something I can't remember what he does but he, he does something and then he starts hold on a sec I can figure it out. 
kind of goes. And then he. And that's where I can't reach it anymore. I don't know what he does. Anyway, I can't do it. So I'm. this is the one part that isn't exactly like him as far as I can hear. I'm going to cheat. It's so close. It's so similar that it hardly makes a difference. So I'm up on the D. I'm on a regular D minor. One, three, two. And I'm going to go four, three, two, one, two, three. And that is the D minor. Then I'm going to do D minor slash major seventh. Minor major. Woo! Go look it up. I think this is right, but I don't know for sure. All I did was move my ring finger into the second fret. And then I'm going to do a D minor seventh, which is pinching one and two on the first fret, and then I add my ring on third. And then I just move him down to the first string, and my second string is now open. Okay, so that's again D minor. So all I'm doing is I'm moving my second string down. Everybody else stays in the exact same position. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I'm going to kind of sing. If I could save time in a bottle. Uh, okay, now I'm going to do what? And I don't know half the names of these chords, guys. I'm just guessing. A sharp six diminished. Woo! I have no idea, but I do have a picture of that one because that one's kind of tricky to remember for me, so I have to actually quickly glance. Pointer on the fifth string, first fret, and ring or ring or pinky, I don't care who, on the second string, second fret, and I'm going to go. It doesn't sound right. Hold on a second. Why does that not sound right? Hold on a second. Second fret, there we go. First, the picture's right, I didn't even read it right. First thing that I'd like to. Now, actually, here he's going like this. Let's see. That's what he does. Let's see, he goes, he kind of goes da da da. He kind of goes first string, sixth fret, and third string, seventh fret. He goes. And then he slides everybody down one fret, and then he slides everybody into the third. He kind of, one more time. And then he goes back up to our beginning, which we did. Okay, but I'm, I plucked fifth along with it just because I think it sounds really cool. do not actually like the way that sounds when I play it because I don't, I'm not as good as Jim Croce, duh, surprise. So I'm going to kind of go this little thing. First thing that I'd like, first thing that I'd like to, but right there instead of going, instead of going, oops. Go first, first thing that I'd like to. That's a little option if you want to, or you can just play this twice. Or you can play it once to get that kind of same feel. And what I did there was I played five and two, and then I jumped to the third fret and I hit six and three, and then I jumped back to five and two. And then I jumped up here to fifth and sixth, and I grab five, one, and three. And then I do my little thing while I'm letting the fifth string ring. Okay, then I'm back down to my D minor. Is this, so the first thing that I'd like to do is to say, and, oh no, no, not true. Now we go to high D minor on the tenth. So we're going to get this sound, but up here on the tenth fret. No. So we're going to pinch, we're going to bar the first three strings on the 10th fret, then add our ring finger on the 4th string, 12th fret. And we're going to go 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, okay, is to save every, and then we're going to go day, so this is a high F, and it's a high F, but now I am playing the first string, 8th fret, 
and then on the tenth fret I'm going two, three, four. Four, three, two, one, two, three. So it goes is to save every day till the This is the part I always have a hard time with. Oh. Ah, I'm so close. I'm so close. Okay, hold on a minute. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Till the turn. Hold on, I got it. That cool? Okay, so this is what I'm calling a G minor. Six. No clue if that's right, just go with it. And I've got a picture of this one because this one is also tricky, okay? If it's really kind of an odd chord, then um, then that's what... Let's see, so what I'm doing there is I'm barring the first four strings on the fifth fret, tom is on the first string sixth, and ring finger is on the third string seventh. Now he actually then reaches up. I kind of lose it there. I can't do it, and I I could try. I've tried it with my thumb, and then I lose it. I can't do it. So you could do that twice, or you could go four, three, two, one. If you like that, if you're a guy and you can reach over and grab the sixth string, sixth fret is what he's doing without losing your grip. I'm almost got it down to where I'm holding, and you can't hold the second string, but I'm holding the sixth and the first with just my tall man by bending them a little bit. Almost got it. It's that darn second string. I'll probably just go like this. Okay, so that's what that is. So let's see. To save every day till eternity passes out. Regular D minor, one, three, two. Way just to high G. D minor position. Oh, yeah, slide up to the sixth fret. Spin, spin, and with. And I don't love that, but that's the best I can do. I might put a bar. No, can't do it. Spin, and with. Or you could stay down there and do that twice. Just to turn it, he passes away. But I'm gonna go passes away just to spin them with, just because it goes so fast, and then I'm almost ready. You and I'm gonna grab one, three, and five, and I'm gonna do my little slide up again. Or this time, actually, we might want to go. Whoops. Ah, try it again. So what I did there was I went, that was the 5th and 6th, and then I slid down to 3rd and 4th, and then just open, okay? Now we're on the, but there never seems to be enough time. Right here we're going to go up on the 10th, 11th, and 12th fret, and we're going to do a bar F position, but I don't need 6 and 5, so I'm just going to cheat, and I'm going to go 1, 2, pinching, then 3 and 4. But there never seems to be enough time. And all I did was I kind of slid my ring finger over, but I'd like to change my grip. So my ring finger is going to slide from the 12th into the 11th. That's all that, the first two chords. But there never seems to be enough time. Now you have to re-grip. Let's see. To do... So this is an F minor position on the 7th and 9th. To do the thing, so I can do that whole F minor position, but I am just gonna cheat because I don't need six and five. I'm pinching one and three, one, two, three on the seventh, and then putting my ring finger on the ninth to do the thing, shoe, and then a B position on five and seven. So there's my B, but I'm just doing, I'm cheating again. I'm not playing five and six. One and two, one, shoe. Okay, so let me show you that again. But there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you... Isn't that pretty? Okay, and this is actually my favorite part coming up. Once you... Now he just goes like this. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to do the full thing yet. I'm just going to show you what he's doing. 
then he goes back to that little thing. Well, you could go. He might actually do that right there. So that was second string, open five, and then second string on the third fret. So that was second, okay, second string, second fret, open five. Slide them up, slide your second string on the third fret, tall, or pointer on the fifth string, second fret. Slide up two frets, it's a little walk up. Okay, so let me kind of put that together for you. There never seems to be I mean, that's pretty, but I'm going to make it even prettier. I don't think he does this, but I can, I just like it. Okay. But there never seems to be enough time. So this is all the same. Ah, uh, I lost it. I lost it. It's enough. To do the things you want to do once you... Now right here, instead of just doing two and three, I like to go two, three, four. Just kind of stair step, starting on the third fret. Two, three, four. And now pluck instead of just going... I like to go. I like that harmony there. So I'm plucking four and three. So I'm stair steps and then plucking four and three, two, one, two, one, two, and then I call this a low D. Oops. Because it is kind of a low D. This is a high D and this is a low, D, low lower version of a D. And that is third string, second fret, second string, third fret, and ring finger up on the fourth string, fourth fret. And that's a tricky one to grab. And I'm going to pluck four and three together. Then two, one, two, one, two. So it sounded like this stair steps. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to just go on, I'm going to go second string, third fret, and fourth string, second fret. I'm going to pluck four and three. Two, one, two, one, two, and then I'll do that little walk up. Okay, so let me see if I can put the words to that. Okay, I don't know where I'm at, but there, here we go. But there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you find string I'm gonna go just to let it ring and then I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna pluck one three and five and then go back to my little thing okay so now where am I Okay, so that is about the halfway part where it says repeat the intro of the case, second verse. Here we go. D minor, down low. If I had a box, just four, I just probably one, four, three, two, one, two, three. I can't remember if I told you four, two, three, one, two, three. That works too, but it's really four, three, two, one, two, three. If I had a box, repeat, just four wishes. to high D minor on the 10th fret. The box, I don't remember what this looks like. Ba, ba, oh yeah. Empty, so that's a high F. Empty, and then this funky little chord. Set, up to this guy and answer, answer, but 
but you could do that. And, and, uh, and 16. Yeah, it says this one. Or you could go, oh, I guess this is that one, you could go. Okay, but there, back up to the high D on the 10th fret, which is pinch 1 and 2, 3, 4, 10th, 11th, 12th. Never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you something really fun. This is the end of the song. So now I'm going to go to the, it's called a high D minor 2. I've got a picture of it right there. Basically you're going to go up on the 6th and 7th fret and you're going to put 2nd string and 3rd string, right? Let's see if that's right. And you're going to go. Let's see. Okay, so now, whew, I can't do what he's doing here. I, he might even have two guitars or he's just way better than me. <laughs> I don't know how he gets this to ring, but anyway, so I'm here. I'm going to go four and three together. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then what he's doing is he goes harmonics. So he, so you put your... I can do this better on my acoustic, but I can't play my acoustic right now because of my shoulder. So I'm on the 19th fret, and I'm plucking the third string. Do you know what harmonics are? You're just barely... Well, it works on the... Not gonna electric. So you get them on the twelfth, just barely touching the string, and actually pull my string. Because if I leave my finger, then it kind of mutes it. But if you pull it off, then it rings, and it's right on the fret, past the fifth and the seventh and the twelfth. Have them, and some other ones up here. I can't remember which ones, but we're on the nineteenth. So we're gonna go. Let's. There's your harmonics. So you got harmonics on the ninth. Okay, so back to so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the sixth and seventh, pluck three and four. So three and four, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then reach up here and go. And you do that again. You do it three times. Well, kind of strum it. I don't like that because it deadens everything when I when I when I go up to do the harmonics. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to do something else down below and I like this ending better. Four. So I'm going to go four and three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to reach up with my ring finger or maybe switch my grip and go five, six. No, I'm sorry. Four, five. And then let go of four again. Let's see. version of Time in a Bottle. That's my advanced version of Jim Croce. If that is way too hard for you, then go check out the easy version. It's much easier um, and pretty. It, both, they're both really pretty, but I really wanted to try to figure out this hard version for anybody who cares. All right. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, again, you can go to rainydaygutar.com. You can print that off with the, word in the words in the chords and check out the easy version. For more fun songs, go to rainydayguitar.com. <laughs>